that's needed we can get from this box. Thank you. It's hard to know which is most important or how it all began. The boy was born. The girl was born. They grew up quickly, went to school, became shy in their own ways and for different reasons. Read romances, studied cloud formations in the lazy afternoon, and instead of reading textbooks, tried to memorize the moon. And when the girl was 16, she was younger than the boy, she began to notice something strange. Her ugly duckling features had undergone a change. In short, she 
She was growing pretty. For the first time in her whole life, pretty. And the shock so stunned and thrilled her that she became almost immediately incurably insane. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> that she's a princess, that her name must be in French, or sometimes Eurasian, although she isn't sure what that is. You see, no one can feel the way I feel and have a father named Amos Babcock Bellamy. She has a glass bead necklace which she thinks is really real. I found it in the attic with my mother's name inside. It is my favorite possession. It's her fancy. It's my pride. This morning, a bird woke me up. It was a lark, or a peacock, or something like that. Some strange sort of bird that I've never heard. And I said, hello. And it vanished, flew away, the very minute I said hello. It was very mysterious. Did you know what I did? I went over to my mirror, and I brushed my hair 200 times without stopping. <laughs> and my hair turned gold. No, honestly, gold. And then red. And then a deep sort of blue when the sun hit it. I'm 16 years old, and every day something happens to me. I don't know quite what to make of it. When I get up in the morning, I can tell something's different. I love to touch my eyelids because they're never quite the same. Oh, oh, oh! I hug myself till my arms bloom, turn blue, then cry and cry till the tears come down and I can taste them. I love to taste my tears. I'm special. I'm special. Please, God, please, don't let me be normal. I'd like to swim in a clear blue stream where the water is icy cold. Then go to town in a golden gown and have my fortune told. Just once, just once, just once.
bit briefer because it's pretty much the same. inside a lab, dissected by it. I know the way things are. I'm grown up, stable, willing to conform. I'm beyond such foolish notions. And yet, in spite of my knowledge, there is this girl. She makes me young again and foolish. With her, I perform the impossible. I defy biology and achieve Ignorance! <laughs> there are no other ears but hers to hear the explosion of my soul. There are no other eyes but hers to make me wise. And despite what they say of species, there is not one plant or animal or any growing thing that is made quite the same way as she is. It's stupid, I know, and immensely undignified. But I do love her. Look, here is the wall their fathers built between their houses. Oh, they built that ages ago, last month when I came home from school. <laughs> Poor fools. They built it to keep us apart. Or maybe she's there now. I hope so, I'll see. But I don't know what to call her. She's too vibrant for a name. What should I call her? 